So today's video is going to be a little different. Oh, and hi, I'm Shauna with Rescued Relics. I am a part-time reseller. I've been reselling for about four years and um, yeah. So today we're going to go through um, and do some inventory. I've told myself that I am not going to go thrifting or finding anything else until I go through what I have. And um, over the last week I've noticed, okay, so we took quite a few off and we've relisted quite a few, checked, compared the prices and um, basically just trying to let go of some stuff that I've had for a long time. And uh, I have noticed that they have been selling. So we're doing something right. So we're just going through a whole bunch of stuff. So I wanted to take you through and show you how I'm doing my inventory. I don't know if this is the right way. I've never done it before. I usually just let it ride. Um, so uh, I just thought I'd share how, I do, how I'm doing mine. And um, if this you find this useful, I'd love it if you liked it. And I hope you consider subscribing. Thanks. Inventory. That's the story. So I was going to, I want to take you through while we do some inventory reassessing because of a lot of the items that we have listed aren't listed. They've fallen off or the shipping is incorrect or this or that. So the first one that we did, let me show you, we went through the cups and um, here's the cups. This is all that we have left. They were spread out everywhere. And as we're going, what we're gonna do too is we are going to reassess and put things in um, like locations. So finding items is easier because I tell you what, it is hard to find things sometimes. They sell, you spend as much time looking for the item as you do listing the items sometimes. I'll tell you. So anyway. Today, I think what we're gonna do, I would like to do all the clear glass. Let's do the clear glass. So we're gonna pull everything that's clear and then we're gonna make a clear glass section and have that as its one location because this, doing the C2, S2 and it being random, I mean, I get like labeling, which helps a lot, right? But if we had it labeled and we had like items in one area, it would make a lot more sense and probably be a lot easier to find because the struggle's real. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, so what we did, we went through a lot of the clear glass. This is the glass that either has been sitting and listed for four years since I started listing or it had fallen off and just really wasn't worth listing again or I had it listed for super cheap and um, like this, this I think is so cool, but you know, it's really not a good shipping item. Look how big it is, it's glass and it's been sitting there for ages. So I'm just gonna put it in the yard sale. It's cool though. And then like this little dog here, I thought he was neat, but he'd been listed for ages and had him at like four dollars, so he gonna be a yard sale fella. And if he doesn't sell in the yard sale, I'll put him in the booth. Maybe I'll put him in the booth first. Boop boop. I don't know. But what I wanted to do, let's. I'll show you now that we have the clear. Let's see. We have a whole clear. Okay, whole clear area. This is all the clear, and then we've got the tall clear up there. So what I'm going to do, and hopefully you're interested, is I'm going to look one up and take you through the entire process. So first, I'm going to find one that's kind of old to see if it's dropped off because that seems to be a problem. You pay to have a store and then eBay drops off your stuff. Oh, what do you know? Let's see. I got some real old stuff here. Oh, see, like, I know this gal. She's going to be a yard sale. I figured I'd show you why she's going to be a yard sale. I've had it listed for at least, I guess, say two and a half years. So here I am trying to look up the item. Uh, it's Wales, and I spelled it with an H, but it's in 
A. So I go in and I see it listed. There it is for the, what, $5. So what I do is I select that item and then I copy the title. Let's see here, I will be copying the title. And what I'll do after that is I will put it in the search of all active listings because I want to see what else is selling out there and how much. So there's another one for $15 and mine is for five. And now we're going to go see what they're actually selling for. And here is the problemo. None. None have sold. So this is definitely one of those items that, you know, it's old. It's, it's got, it's got value, but on eBay, it just doesn't sell. So I decide, okay, maybe I have it in the wrong location. What if it's in, maybe it's under the wrong category because categories can be wrong. So I go in and I'm like, maybe if I edit it and change the category or if I do something different, maybe it would actually resell. So here I am, I think, okay, changing the category. What category did I have it in? And I have it in um, collectibles and figurines, but it's made in Japan. So there is a section. It's the uh, Japanese figures and statues. And I think, well, that's quite possible. Maybe I'll select that one instead. And then I'm thinking, okay, maybe if I go in and edit the um, title, I will see maybe my title's not correct. If the title isn't correct, people can't find it. But unfortunately, that really isn't the case either. It doesn't seem to even sell with a different title. So that confirms my decision to put it in the yard sale and accepting the fact that I put work into it and I might lose money is okay because I need to make space. I don't have all of the space in the world and I need to find items that do resell. It's kind of one of those things you just get so tired of seeing it because it hasn't sold and you just got to let things go. Let things go and grow. You know what? Let's do her. I'll take you through the whole process. Okay? I'll just record it on my phone. Okay, so first you need to go into your selling, then go to active, select active, and find. Type in, I'm typing in a lady head. Lady head vase. Well, I actually say base, then I fix it to vase. Okay, there she is. I have it for $38. Ooh, we got one watcher. Okay, so there's got to be a reason why it's not selling. What I'm going to do is select the title, copy that. What I have to do is highlight it, copies the whole title, which is nice. Now you want to go into all of eBay and search what they have listed, see what everybody else has got going on. And you can see, oh, there's similar prices, but what are they selling for? So we go to filter, select filter, then go down, select solds, and oh, look at that, $14, not 38, 14, nine, four dollars and 99 cents okay but we do have one watcher so that's a good sign what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into my active be like okay if i lower the price that one watcher will probably want it i don't think there was an an option to send offer to watcher you do that sometimes and then sometimes ebay doesn't offer that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and change that price I want it to sell don't want to be sitting on it no more and I'm like wait a second why 51 these are different so it's like okay my guy is different than those guys was my title wrong I don't know I'm okay with just letting it go
Let's just get this sucker sold. Okay, we're gonna make it $18 with an offer of 15. And I recommend making a minimum offer amount and always taking that offer. Don't counter. eBay gives you that opportunity to counter, but don't. Oh, and then I changed the weight to three pounds because it's a little heavier than I anticipated. And I'm like, you know what? That's gonna be three pound guy because it needs padding. All right, so anyway, um, definitely one of the tips, do not, do not counter, make your minimum offer and always accept. The more offers I've accepted, the more stuff seems to sell. So that's my tip of the day. And custom SKU is where I put the location of items. That That's just something that you can see, only you. So custom SKU, it's definitely an easier way to put a little note so you know where your stuff is. And now it's swirling and your listing is updated. So hopefully we can get this fella new home soon. And that's all there is for today, folks. Hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for sticking around and spending some time with me today. And uh, until next time, happy treasure hunting.